is still in the north, where it's still got Trent above the bus garage, where the barren nights sing and the chicken and chips sells like chicken and chips. It's Leighton Reese against John Lowe in 1979. Welcome the 1978 World Professional Champion from Wales, Leighton Reese. And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, former World Master, British Open Champion, Captain of the England International Team, would you welcome John Lowe. So here we go with the big one. The decider of who is Marathon Man. In this final last year, John Lowe here and Leighton Reese played the best of 21 legs. Today they could play 45 legs in nine sets to decide the World Professional Championship. 100. Leighton Reese, the, def the defending champion. He beat low 11-7 in last year's final. And off he goes. 140. This is the first leg of the first set. Sixty. Both of the lads have been practicing since ten o'clock this morning. Forty-four. And getting a few pints down them just to relax them a bit. And this is the stage even where the pros start carrying Robert's feet and thing. Low in his lucky red shirt that he's worn to win so many top tournaments. 100. And Low's gone off to go soon because Leighton's on a finish. 140. Standard supreme in this first leg of the World Championship. 59. John, you require 120. Advantage here to low. He can go out with it with three here. 56. Unfortunate. He'd probably treble up on 16. Fifty-six. Leighton, you require ninety-eight. Leighton can do it here. It's got a double top. Seventy-eight score. John, you require sixty-four. He wants treble sixteen, double eight. The shot now stays sixteen, double sixteen. 48. Unlucky. Let me require 20. Reese wants double 10. No score. Unlucky. John, you require 16. Two eights. Double four. Double two. Gee! That will do. Shot and first leg. To first leg, Thunder. first set below. Game on then, ladies and gentlemen. Third leg, check fifth 14 set. Leighton to throw check. first. One hundred. This leg could decide the world championship. If that number in the bottom becomes three, Lowe takes the 
three and a half thousand pounds. First prize. Forty-one. Lower Justin. Brilliantly on that. One hundred. Pace of this game remarkable. Total contrast to the first session. 85. Both striking at each other very quickly. Forty-five. Can Reese capitalise on that low shot by low? 60! Pressure, pressure's got to him, I think. The, the rhythm slackened. He's got room either side. 140! <laughs> These could be Reese's last darts as the reigning world champion. Because Lowe's on a finish. Johnny require 156. This is it. This could be it with these three darts. Not now. AC1. <laughs> Lakeney require 170. You can go out actually from 170, but it takes two in the red bit. 81. John, you require well, 75. How will he go? He could go treble 15. Single 20. This for the title. 55 scored. A wire's width out of it. So Lately require Reece, 89. I feel has to has to get out here. He's got to hit the ball. No. 56 scored. So three darts in his hand. John Lowe of Claycross. John, you require 20. Quite savouring the moment. Double 10. Yeah! The grin of the champion, the new champion being congratulated by the old. And there'll be a re reception in Claycross as if the Ayatollah Khomeini Ladies had walked into town. John Lowe, the world professional darts champion of 1979. Classic stuff there, particularly by Lure. And it wasn't as big a walk away as the scoreline suggests. 5 nil, not too shocking. The only problem was that the previous year, they played the championship from seven foot six. And that much, three and a quarter inches further back, the new world mark did for that beautiful Cobra style of Reese. Low, absolutely fascinating character. Didn't pick up a dart now till his mid twenties. Went to a pub, guy in the team, got tucked short, left the darts on the table. They said, hey you, throw low 100. And the world got to know what happened afterwards. Low bro, what a guy. He'd done all the joinery work on the motorway through Derbyshire. He was a brilliant professional player, a brilliant player for money. Bit of a hustler behind that smooth exterior. Next time, though, we've got the greatest character the game has ever seen. The crafty Cockney. Age 11, his dad comes down the apples and pears on Christmas Day with a dartboard. And the rest became history. Against... The pride of Essex, Bobby the Dazzler, the bark inside boy with 19 inch biceps and an ego to match. Don't miss them too. Next time. <laughs>